Hello everyone, Crystal Fisher here. Welcome to another part of Spyro Enter the Dragonfly. Joining me today in the uh, the ball gadget is Nintendo N64. Gadget. It's a ball gadget. It's from. It's from, this is obviously where they got the idea from a Hero's Tale. And uh, what's the other level called again? Um, oh, the guy Fraser, Mister Fraser. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> My name. How can you forget me? I forgot you could play. He's such an unmemorable prick that, you know, I just couldn't. No, just kidding. Oh, um, what the fuck is this? One of my last favorite characters in your Let's Plays. Okay, so here we are in Jurassic Jungle, and let's just start off by saying that. Oh, well, let's talk to this guy. Alright, they've escaped from the cages. Alright, cool. Yep, you know what? There's really nothing much to talk about. I, I, you know, whatever. The, the dialogue really isn't the same. This level, aren't you? Yeah, the dialogue isn't the same as Spyro One to Three. There's nothing witty. It's just explanation of boring, yeah. boring, pointless storylines. So, well, it's not not unwitty, but anyway. So here we are in this level, and first things first, we actually did the the boss in the last part or whatever thing, but it um, turns out that we actually got to the final form by accident. I don't know how yeah. the fuck that happened. So I'm just gonna have to say that. We're just going to go to the level instead, and we probably only have to verse Ripto once. So, you guys probably benefit from that because he's a piece of shit. What the fuck? He's a piece of shit. Um, but one day you'll yes. have to face him properly. And one day I have to face my demons of you know versing Ripto. Um, yeah. But here we are in Jurassic Jungle, and I haven't played this for a very long time. I actually kind of like it so far. It looks pretty cool. Yeah, it puts me in mind of like uh, oh, Metalhead actually somehow. Metalhead. I yeah, remember enjoying this level as a kid. I remember yeah. enjoying it as a kid, but I, I don't know about today. I mean, I, 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 yeah, the background's uh, simple, but you know what? Honestly, I, I like simple as opposed to the like, kind of shit that they did in like Cloud Nine, where it just looked horrible. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't know. I, I feel like I'd rather just like a simple. I'd just, as I said uh, before, I would rather them just copy the Spyro, uh, you know, things from. Spyro 1, 2, and 3, and I'd be happy. Seriously, even yeah, in a PS2 yeah. game, just keep them. They're, they're perfect. They're, they're modern. They've got this weird art style, and they they look cool. You know what I mean? So, pff, why not? I, I have a very interesting That's point to make to you, Crystal Fisher. Okay. Can we make this point? You know, the Spyro did dinosaurs before, and they did it in Dragon Knight. Uh, Dino Maya, and rather. I think I prefer a level with dinosaurs where the dinosaurs aren't in the dinosaur habitat. I don't know, it just makes them stand out more. Like, like for example, what, what they did with, um, what, Dino Mines, how they're yeah, in, like, Western. Yeah, like I was saying with Dino Western. Mines, like, because that's the only other dinosaur level I can think of that they had in this game that was devoted to dinosaurs. And I think I just it just stands out, they, they stand out more in that Actually, level because they're not in their typical yeah, habitat, whereas this is just a generic jungle type of level. I agree with that, it's just very uh, creative and abstract and unique, I guess. I agree, yeah. I like yeah. That. We're all in agree, we're all in agreement. Um, with yeah, with this level, uh, they, they, well, no, there are dinosaurs in Luau Island as well. It seems like that just again is like obviously they've just got the same enemy idea, and so they've kept him because you know they, they've run out of time as well. So I mean, I wouldn't be well, surprised. These are robot if there was dinosaurs. Some, let's let's yeah, not forget that. Oh well, yeah, they are. They are. You're right. They are different. But I remember the, all this stuff hit this level. I remember this one in Monkey Monastery. I remember really well from the demos I used to watch, like uh, like the like the release trailer of this game. Um, so it's pretty cool actually. And I remember this room in here too. So there's a few things I remember about this level, but not too much. Anyway, what's this guy saying? Well, I'll actually listen to him this time. Professor Copeland. <laughs> oh my god. Throwback. Right. Throwback to the guy who did the music for the previous games, which is interesting. Okay, hidden treasure. I don't know. Look, I mean, what are they saying? Yes, and from yep, gems. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, yeah. There's a little like task in here or something like that. No, actually, yeah, I do remember this whole thing. I think you can climb to the top. Oh, wait, maybe you can't. Yeah, I like that. Bit. Actually, me. you can. From memory. Yes, you can. Yeah, I d like this level. I know what you're saying with the um, how it's like a bit generic. How they've got dinosaurs in a dinosaur-like setting, but in terms of if you know for what they're gonna do in, in another Spyro game, you, ha you know I think you have to have a jungle level, and I think that the level so far is actually pretty cool. I quite I like the it's quite feels quite big, but not as barren as the other ones. Like remember, Crop Circle Country felt really barren for a level that yeah, was meant to yeah, be huge. 
you know? Crop circle is just like the definition of an unpolished, boring, bland level in my opinion. That's, I, I, I reckon you're right. Someone else has made a similar comment and that's right. Like, it's like they've got all this space. Someone said that, um, someone that was recently commenting, he said that it was something like, it was like they wanted to show off like widescreen gaming, but they didn't do anything with the widescreen. It's just like they just showed off more land, but that's it. Do you get what I mean? And I, I kind of see what he means when he says that. It's this like, game almost was like a giant tech demo at times. <laughs> the, the funny thing about this game is like Floor. it seems like the most complete level in the game, which I think is a uh, Dragonfly Dojo, is like stuck at the very beginning. Um, I would say it's Thieves Den. Unfortunately, you didn't get to see it. Thieves oh, Den yeah. is phenomenal. Um, we've talked yeah. about that. I like Thieves you really, Den. honestly, uh, I I I see that with. Um, I see that in terms of like with Dragonfly Dojo, especially because we got to see money bags as well. That was always nice. Um, but and then a callback to Spyro One. I feel like with the cold like frozen crystallization kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, this looks really nice though. Actually, I actually like this a hell of a lot. Um, but what was it? Uh, with yeah, with Thieves Den. That was very much like this this completely original idea. I felt and it just looked it looked yeah. fantastic. Um, you so really, what, there's, two, there's two good levels in this game. Uh, right? No, I also would call um, Monkey Monastery a pretty good level. Monastery a pretty good level as well. Um, yeah, actually, I don't mind that level too much, to be honest. That's uh, nice. Is that the one with the, yeah. the ice so yes. slide? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Monkeys. I like that level. But no, I just think like Dragonfly Dojo, if you think about it, it's just got like everything. Like it's got a whole bunch of stuff in it. I mean, yeah, it does have a bunch of stuff, but it's a bit. I don't know, a bit boring, do you know what I mean? Like, Thieves' it's, Den it's is actually boring. pretty I'm, I'm difficult. Not saying, I'm not saying it's, like, interesting, but, like, it seems very complete. Like, it doesn't feel like they missed out on putting I, much in that level. I mean, but, yeah, I mean, yes, I agree, but do you think this level doesn't look incomplete? I think this level looks quite filled so far. Like, we've got, like, all these different variations in, in uh, like, textures, and hey, that looks straight out of um, a molten crater right there. Look at that, the colour Yeah, there. it does actually, yeah. Um, okay, there we go. Now, I remember this level very, very well from the demo. I remember all this right here, and I, I even remember how quickly the frame goes. Look, see, look, all of a sudden it goes to 60, and it's like, yeah. alright, we're done. Um, I can't remember how long this level is, though. Uh, no, it feels kind of bare out right here. A little bit bare, yeah. It could, there could be more. I, oh God, it's just, what could have been? You know, I've actually... Look, this, doesn't this level have a slide? Looks it strange. It, it does, it does, have a, it does have a slide, yes. I look forward to doing that, actually. Um, I remember that being actually really fun, but every time I say that, I can remember I was a kid when I last time played this game, so... So yeah, you, you, could be, you could be, yeah, um, like, you know, unpleasantly... See, I don't know, what, I don't even know what word I'm looking it, for. It, it might, the word I'm looking for. Yeah. Well, I, I can't can, say. Because they're preschool toys. Stuff interesting too. Same with me, I, I loved this when I was a kid, yeah, same. Like, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, not going to... Um, be ashamed of that that I actually did appreciate this but now I look at it and go wow like what they Jesus they could have so yes exactly some people have said they don't have a problem with the speed but you know due to having slow emulators and stuff like that but I don't know when you when you like here's a thing here's a test for you guys play enter the dragonfly for the length of time that I've spent having to do this let's play and then go back and play Spyro 2 and it will feel like you're playing like a sonic game that's how fast it is it's just ridiculous um, yeah. what's this? Oh, one of these bloody tasks here. Alright. Oh, I, I hate these. These just don't feel right. Look, look, you know what it is? It's an tacked on excuse to get a dragonfly. That's all it is. It's really yeah, like boring. The, the ability, like those things don't look right and the flame... Not only the that. Electricity not, breath on, not only that, is that they don't actually do anything. It's just an enabler. It's not actually a, um, an, an ability. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's, all it is is just something that gives you the power to start the task it's not like it gives you a special breath do you get what i'm saying yeah i know that i'm just saying like these these like diode things they just don't look right they look me. metallic and boring i always had a problem with them they always kind of just annoyed me how they look they just don't look finished look like they were hey, just it's karen be... gillen yeah, well it looks like they were going to do something more with them, but they just like said eh, they look all right let's just leave uh, i feel like that's probably what they said about the entire game uh, yeah, you know, I thought that they could have done something. Also, more, let but... me get Spyro's model looks just retarded as well. Oh, I wouldn't say that's the worst part about him. I think he just needs to be a bit of a darker purple. Look, no, look at his wings. No, but when you're looking at him, like his walk cycle looks weird. 
Yeah, that, especially his charge fine. cycle. It looks fine here. The charging looks charge weird. Cycle looks charging fine. looks weird, but this looks fine. Yeah, Look, that looks fine. I don't know. It's, I think it's the angle in which he's doing the charge. Like he's he's beyond like 180 degrees or something. Yeah, you're right. It's it's a, it's a weird like it's like a like it kind of makes him look fat as well for to be superficial. It looks like he's lying down, but please more be so, the like, slide. Wait. Yes. Oh, the music is fucking though. awesome. Yes, that that's one thing I remember from this. But yeah, um, Spyro, it looks too polished. There's not much texture. It looks very cartoony and childish. And he's got these dead eyes as well. Yeah, and in, in the other games, he, he's a bit of a badass sort of character to get around. Yeah. yeah, this one he talks more, but he doesn't say, he's not saying much, if you get me. Yeah, but and like his 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 eyes look dead all the time. <laughs> he's, like don't, he's seen this shit, man. Like they don't, don't have any emotion in them. They look just, just shit. White circles with black dots on them. Wait one second, it's really got loud for some reason. Sorry. Also, uh, does it seem like they really wanted to have the professor here for some reason? Yeah, well, it's like the same. He has that like aha voice thing or whatever it is. Wait, is the professor in this game? Um, no. Oh, I don't think he was. No, he's not. That's a. Why does he not? Why? Why, why is he not in this level? Well, no, but it's, I mean, think about it. Like that was gonna be. That was meant to be nasty. Nork's meant to be in this game. Do you know what I mean? Like, but the I mean, that was gonna have everyone. A complex character. Actually, the professor shows up way more than nasty Nork does. So. True. Professor's all the, always there. Oh damn, the music is great though. Like, it, like that's the, that's what makes this for me. That's what makes the whole game bearable. And it's a bit like one just one thing but like to me it makes it all worth it because you get to, you're kind of hearing what would happen if if they you know insomniac did a fourth game right yeah, it's kind of it feels very authentic it's to the series Copeland, it? it is of course it's Stuart Copeland oh is it Stuart Copeland oh, I forgot no. you really need to listen so, to the soundtrack then because look, it's very I don't very... care enough about the soundtrack well you should I find the I find the whole world soundtrack to be very depressing and I'm not sure why it's that you know very empty do, 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 Oh shit, is that it? Do you it lose if you get hit? Two homes, uh, oh fuck, oh my god. No, Spyro 2 went to atmospheric. They're complex, yeah, aren't they? Well, I mean, they're just a loop, nice. but yeah. Sorry, Fraser? I think Spyro 2, uh, 2 definitely had more atmosphere in the home world, where, and Spyro 3 had a bit more better sound to the home world. Where That's it, the exactly. The home world in Spyro 3. The one that Spyro into the drag place is just depressing and empty to me, and I'm not sure why, it's just me. The whole never happened with the idea of a single home world either. No, no, I mean, like someone yeah. kind of liked the idea, and I think, like, the actual home world is, oh, for fuck's sake, is fine, but there needed to be two or three. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, make it, it, it doesn't make sense to have it all in one, because it's, it makes it, you have to walk around more, and there's nothing in it, and it's like a lot of just empty stretches of nothingness trying to get to another level. That's it, yeah. Yeah, like that's it, a lot of variety, because you just unlock this new place, and it's so different and awesome. You love that. Yeah, and you can do things in the other home world as well. Yeah, and you know, and and to, to tack onto the rant, I, st I I agree with Ratchet Five. Like, just I don't know. I felt like the portals were really cool. Like, why why get rid of them? Like, they like look at the, the the gadget that takes you to this level. It's a fucking piece of shit. Do you mean like? What I do I do like the Doctor Who swirl the first time you see it though. Oh Maybe yeah. Maybe could be saved for only like speedways or something. Yeah, no, I I think that's okay, but like. Oh, the, just the particles. Look, look at look at the background there. Look how like dead that is. I mean, I was saying it was okay before, but like in this type of environment, wow, it just looks plain as fuck. And th those, those like lava spurt things look weird. And what's up with these glowing spheres on the end of these platforms? Are they meant to be? I think it's meant to be a blue flame, which I'd be dead because I keep. Is it? It doesn't look. It just looks weird. Oh, and these things don't look right either. Like they just look odd. No, nothing looks right. That's, uh... Um, this game's too much of a tech demo at times, just like, look at this new PS2 tech, set they fucked it up royally and just made it a complete yeah. mess. And the water looks shit, but I think this game has absolutely the worst PS2 water graphics. They, they, it, it looks like they're trying to make it look It's, good, it's okay. Reality, it's, We've saved it yes. to part 23 to, like, really pile into the game's hate, because we've been really nice, like, for the first, like, 22 parts. Yeah. Now this is, like, the, like, the, you know, voice your concern with this, oh, fuck! Fuck, I'm cutting, fuck it. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Um, if this game wasn't such a piece of shit, Spyro would still be around in some way, shape, or form in his own entity, not in, like, Skylanders. Skylanders. Yeah, no, oh. I, bold statement, but I would say pretty much guaranteed because, uh, you know, as I said, this game proved that, the, if this game, like, proved the, like, the, the executives, like, oh, Spyro's no longer marketable, let's change everything up, you know what I mean? Like, and that's let's what we got in Let's ruin everything and make it... 
I don't know. It's just like... Mm -hmm. I hate the publishers, that it's just like, I hate when they rush things and they sort of cause all this stuff to happen by sort of pressuring the developers to release things on time where they're like, oh, the kids won't like that these days. And then you get this sort of mediocre final product because they've stripped it down for what the, the publishers thought were right. And, and then the publishers end up saying, oh, why have we got bad sales? It's your fault. And yeah, exactly. They'll blame anyone so but themselves, basically. You exactly. Know. You know, yeah. yeah, another thing is, like, if you look at the most successful, like, long-running video game franchises of all time, like, you look at Call of Duties, you look at the Halos, you look at the Marios, the Zeldas, mm -hmm. they've all maintained the same formula year after year after year, and they've always been popular and yeah, well-selling. What, what, what's to say that, yeah, Spyro would just have died? Like, what, I, I mean, I just don't understand, like, maybe he wouldn't be as popular these days, you know what I mean? Like, maybe, I mean, sure, you know, every series has a longevity, but I felt like... Like, was everyone sick of Spyro by Into the Dragonfly? No. They were sick of it because the game was very, very difficult to play. It's not fun to play, unfortunately. That's the problem. Because yeah, of it, it's being slow. It, it, right down to the fact that even if they had just fixed the frame rate, honestly, like... 20 30 percent of this game you know would be would be you know better as in like it'd be you know considerably better you know what i mean yet that is something that appears to be you know lost on them and instead they go do hero's tale which now i'm not a hero's tale hater either which will probably anger some people i actually can recognize a hero's tales creativity but oh, at the same time understand why people don't like it at the same as well Oh, I liked I like it when it. I was a kid, but it's it's like I didn't find any connection with it like I had with this game. It just felt like a step in the wrong direction. Well, yeah, it's a bit of a bit of a stagnant kind of like simple safe direction. Yeah, I think it's a solid game. Just it it, it wasn't impressive. I think is really the thing with me. That's right. It didn't have that wow factor of like. You know, at least back in the day that, you know, the original Spyros did. And, like, they tried to kind of make it a little bit more open world, a bit like uh, um, Twin Sanity. But I don't think Spyro really needed to be open world, you know what I mean, yet. I think Crash, uh, I can definitely see the argument as to why Crash became, you know, Twin Sanity. I can, I'm a huge fan of that, that idea. But I love Twin Sanity. Yeah, you know, Twin Sanity. I, I like Twin Sanity. I don't love Twin Sanity. I, you know, I'm not in love with Twin Sanity. It has its flaws. It, oh, of course it has its flaws. It's, okay, put it this way, right? Put it this way, yeah. Angus, okay? Yeah. There's 16 levels in in um, Twin Sanity, right? Okay? Yeah. Do you know how many levels there were actually planned that we even know about? Like 30 to 36 30. levels, at least. 36. I was today, actually, and it just depressed me so much. Oh, it's, the game it, so good. it is fucking depressing as hell. Like, you look at it and you think, there was going to be all these different levels. There was going to be like a Komodo Brothers race. There was going to be like this Uka Uka tree thing. There's all these little, like, pictures and snippets. There's like, dream level where you're like in Coco's mind and shit. Like, e a good Cortex, you know, bad crash, evil Coco. All these little concepts that they did. And all of a sudden, so, boom, taken away from them because of some greedy developers that want the game released at a certain point. I mean, sorry, sense. publishers. They are just, they are the reason why the gaming industry is now 100% driven by plot. And the only, and if, you know. It's all about money. It's, it's all like, about money. It, you got to get what sells. And as a result, so many games just become stripped so bad. Just so it's more accessible to everybody rather than certain people. There's no such things as a as an aim for an audience. There's no age range anymore. It's like, okay, let's try and get as many people together as we can to sell this game to. It's yeah, not yeah, about aiming at audiences. Because indirectly, COD is actually marketed at teenagers. They don't. They won't admit it. Yeah, I mean, but even though it's meant to be like it's MA15 or R or whatever the fuck, it really is aimed at the kids. Because they know it's like that kind of, you know, I don't know, like that style, that action, big explosions and shit. Jesus Christ, mm. he just keeps talking and honestly, it doesn't matter. None of it matters. Right. Um, you know, like, um... This is, this is cool, they actually got um, invincibility back. That's, that's cool. I was going to say, like, you know, Crash and Spyro have, like, a very similar, like, tra you know, uh, fate, I suppose. They both went down the same thing. Very popular, well done games on the, on the PlayStation 1. Two very average games on the PS2, right? And then they and changed the formula up and changed the design of it. No one likes it. And then they just exactly. let them die. Yeah, that's it. What? what? Yeah, Crash of the Tides. Like, and the thing is, is that they're not 
the thing is about Titans and that is that they're not bad games. They're just yeah, they're not good bad. crash games. Mm, you know exactly. I mean? That's the problem. Like, I, I, they're kind of good games on their own, but it, it, it's, it lacks so much. I'm not sure what it is, but it just lacks. It does lack. No, it does completely lack. Like, um, you know, what's the word? You know, like, uh, Titans is, you know, really just a glorified, like, beat em up in many ways with the with the um yeah with, and see and so if that was without the crash model let's say they made some other like anim anthropomorphic animal or something like that i actually reckon it would be pretty cool do you know what i mean like i you know i think it would actually have some potential but unfortunately you know we you look at this and it's the game the yeah, it's not it's not really a proper crash game like even though they've got all the all the characters and stuff like that I think that was pretty cool I don't know it everything just falls flat and it's just uh, the, I mean I just think like they they just, they just threw away money they just completely threw they've thrown away two franchises that were so popular at its heyday and now look you know what I mean it, I think they still have the potential to still you know make a comeback one day but it's just like no uh, one wants to do that. A comeback for a crash game at this point, it needs, it's, it's, I've said this before. I don't know if there's any kind of viable market for it except no, for the nostalgia factor. No, I, I, just, I don't know if there no, is. No, 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 but let's think about any video game that is released. I reckon that that's a myth. I honestly reckon that is a myth that is, that is basically driven by a, a, um, a, a market that assumes that everything has to be a knowledgeable series. Now, when I say that, what I mean is, you think about all the different games that are released over the years that may not, that are completely new franchises and they are built from nothing. Like, you know, Destiny, right? That was, that's the yeah. series. That, they've never had a Destiny game before that, yet why is it so popular? Because the actual game delivers. If a game looks good and it, and it, they did a Crash Bandicoot, one, they'd have the market from the nostalgia kids. Two, they'd have the nostalgia, f they'd have the market from the people that actually maybe want to play a good game. And three, they'd have the press, you know, going, like Skylanders was hugely popular in the press. And that, that's beyond like, bullshit. It wasn't because of the toys. It was because the the big the big thing about that was that like oh my god, look at this Spyro the Dragon. Oh my god, he's back. You know what I mean? As part of a Skylands, people yeah. like to try and downplay that, but it definitely was because of him. Do you know what I mean? I, people. I, if, if, if Skylanders didn't inspire, I, I think I would never have even cared about it at all. Oh, same. I think that's the reason we still talk about it to this day is because it, it had Spyro in the first one. Of course. You Why the fuck would I care? mention it or bring it up? Why the fuck would I care about a little kid's franchise that little boys play? I mean, no offense, mm. I, mean, I know people that play Skylanders here and they like it for their own reasons, but let's face it, you don't like it because of Spyro, don't you? Yeah, but no. think about this now. Spyro, uh, Skylanders is selling huge even without Spyro in it. Exactly, so it doesn't need it. The whole argument previously that... Oh, Spyro being in it, that'll be, it'll be huge, and people will buy it and want more more Spyro games. That's kind of thrown out the window now because they kind of abandoned him in the. Of course, and they're and are they still having success. And oh, they're of still course success. they are. So I I said three four years ago, and I was like most people disagreed with me when I said that it's hardly even a Spyro game, and there are, there's no point Spyro being in it because it's not even gonna sell well because he's in it, it'll sell well because of the gimmick. And everyone's like, no, no, Spyro's in it, therefore people are gonna buy it. Well, obviously that's not true. I think, I think it give, gave the initial push. Um, I don't think it did. No, no, with marketing, of course it did. Did, why did Fraser buy? Why did Why did Fraser buy Skylanders? Why did one person buy a game? No, that's absolutely completely wrong. People yeah, bought it because they hoped that there would be something to do with Spyro, and then when it came out, everyone realized that it had absolutely nothing to do with Spyro. But the following games did even better. I know. Without him even advertising. That's, I know. I know. I know. That's that's too late. It, the fact is that they used the name for the marketability, and that was it. That was it. And then it's the second it was out and everyone played it, people liked it for their own reasons, I guess. But you more know. people bought the following ones. Than I, the know. Ones, so I, I know. I know. I'm not saying they bought it because of Spyro, you idiot. I'm saying that he was the initial marketing push. It's very well, simple. Maybe, maybe he was. Maybe the whole idea of games where you can play with your figurines was like the marketing no, point. No, the marketing. I, they did push that quite a lot. They did push that quite a lot, but they also pushed Spyro's return a awful lot. I've specifically. I don't think they did. I really don't think they did. 
Okay, so not one person mentioned that the, despite the title being called Spled, uh, Skylanders Spyro's Adventure, none of it was about Spyro in the in initial marketing. None of it. The, the reason why they used the Spyro name, even though it didn't have a, a franchise name attached to it originally, yep, it's 100% absolutely nothing to do with Spyro no, I at think, all. No, I think it was, it was a... a, a I mean, amount, but I just don't think it did as well because of him. I just think it, there's other reasons why it did well. There's other reasons why it did factor. well. I yes. don't think it's even the biggest factor. I just think the whole gimmick he was of the, toys. He was the biggest factor for a, a particular market that was wanting a new Spyro game before it was released. And the yeah. second it was released and yeah. people saw that it wasn't to do with Spyro, people liked it. The kids liked it for a different reason. They yeah, liked but it did you buy the, the following up, the follow-up games? Uh... No, I didn't buy the first one either because I saw that it, I, I knew it wasn't going to be about Spyro yeah, about halfway like, through. Of, I'm sure a lot of those Spyro fans didn't buy the following ones. So then there's a whole new uh, bunch of people who didn't buy the first one, bought the second one, probably didn't even know that Spyro was in the original. I know one. now. That's what I mean. So there's no point even having him in the franchise. He's irrelevant. You know I mean? Even though you can probably play as him in the games. Still. You can. They still and they still do this little thing where they like market different versions of Spyro to try and like basically, to me, rub in to any other developer. Oh yeah, you want one of the former most popular franchises back in the late nineties? Oh well actually we're just gonna make him an action figure. Oh you know what? Actually, let's announce Crash Bandicoot as a form as a Skylander. That that would not be surprised if that's what they do. You know, so I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna end the part here. We'll go to the next part. We'll go through. I think this is. I don't know if this is the end portal or a challenge. Okay. What do you reckon? I think that's the challenge. You reckon? I thought yeah, like there's look. There's like a crack in there. Look. Well, go into it then, you dickhead. All right. See ya.